Good day viewers, I'd like to speak today about soaking transformers. Now what is soaking a transformer? It's basically, it is warming it up, it's allowing the oil to get into the into the paper and into the windings and get rid of any air that's in there and such like that. Now a lot of people will soak a transformer and, and what they do is they power up the transformer but you don't connect the load and you might leave it sit there and warm up for 24 hours. And because it's warming it up, a lot of people think that whenever a transformer is cold, you don't want to turn it on. You don't want to apply the load to it straight away. But there's no moving parts in a transformer. There's no, there's no push rods or anything that the oil has to get up and around to. So it's not a, an issue turning a transformer and it's cold. Now there's certainly no issue in soaking a transformer either. The only problem I see is simply that you've got to supply power to it one day and then leave it sit there for 24 hours and then come back another day and, and then complete the rest of the switching. If you've got time for that, that's perfectly fine. And also too, if you might know something that I don't. I don't know everything. But if you feel that it is better for the transformer to do that, by all means completely continue doing it but if you're curious about soaking a transformer certainly do it on a new transformer some people even say that like anywhere in australia uh, after the transformer has got to your site it's a pretty good bet the oil is absolutely everywhere within the windings but it's still not a bad idea i would soak it even if it's come from queensland around the bottom of australia and up to Karratha, there's a new transformer I'd soak it. If it's a transformer that you've flushed, uh, you've emptied, um, so rather than change the oil on the go, if you've actually taken the oil out, you've, you've emptied the oil, you put new oil in, if you do that, then absolutely soak it. I would soak it more than 24 hours a day um, because of the fact that it's not like if it's been transported, you've got air in those windings, air in the paper, and you want to get rid of all that, so you'd fill it back up again. You obviously put a vacuum pump on it for a couple of days, but still you'd want to soak it, I think, for longer than a 24 hour period. Other than that, guys, if you've turned the transformer off for a week and it's cold, and you think that you maybe should soak it because it's cold, I wouldn't worry about it. There's no need about it. On that hand, like I say, you might know something I don't, and you want to soak it if it's cold. By all means, do that. It is always better to err on the side of caution, especially when you're looking at something as critical, as expensive as a transformer. Anyway, guys, that's my tip for the day. Hope everything's great. See you tomorrow.